we often encounter digital images in our everyday. About 20 years ago, we have analog devices to acquire images. But with the technological development, it was replaced by digital imaging. For this lecture, I'm going to describe briefly what is a digital image. Our human eye has evolved through time that makes it our trusted partner. But the underlying question is this, can we trust our sense of vision? Can we perceive images correctly? You can see uh, in the drawing that at the back of the eye is lined with a thin layer called the retina. This is where the photoreceptors are located. If you think of the eye as a camera, the retina would be the film. The retina also contains nerves that tell the brain what the photoreceptors are seeing. There are two types of photoreceptors for this case. So we have rods and cones. But I will not go further into its detail. So let us now check uh, this image. So a dot blot or slot blot uh, is a technique in molecular biology used to detect proteins. So it represents a simplification of the Western blot method. So typical dot blot membrane, so darker dots indicate more protein. And in this image, as the surrounding parts is getting less gray, you can observe that there are also other parts uh, that is uh, darker. So the reason is that visual perception is optimized when seeing differences in the scene. And this has been surely an, an advantage, but it does not give all the information that we need. So that's why we still uh, need a method to measure intensity in an, in an unbiased way. So now let's try to get the intensity profile of a specific part of our image. So we have this in intensity uh, line profile here as shown. The yellow, uh, in order to get the profile of this four dots. So let's try to, to measure quantitatively the value of the intensities. So using image J, we were able to uh, acquire this figure. So this is a line profile indicating the pixel values along the line I created. So this is uh, an 8-bit image. Uh, wherein each pixel occupies exactly one byte. So this means uh, each pixel has 256 possible numerical values. So uh, from 0 to 255. And usually uh, 0 here indicates black or the, the dark, more and more dark. So as, as the number gets lower, then 255 indicates the, the brightest or, or the white color. So for this uh, line profile, it can be observed that the dots, the dark parts, refers to these uh, wells in our, in our figure. Okay, so let's go to this one. So digital image is a 2D array of pixels. So digital images are characterized by matrix size, pixel depth, and resolution. So typically, these units are assembled in a rectangular manner as shown. So every pixel is defined by its coordinate, x, y. So we have this coordinate value. And of course, the value of the pixel itself, which is the pixel value or the pixel intensity. So pixel intensity. This value is discrete. And you'll, uh, you'll learn later that the maximum reachable value is defined by a so-called bit depth. So this is the number of bits used to represent each pixel. So the matrix size is determined from the number of columns and the number of rows of the image. So we have the matrix M times N, where in your M is your column and your N refers to the row. And generally, as the matrix dimension increases, the resolution is getting better. Okay, so let us now use our image G uh, to open 
the dot blot uh, example so dot blot so then uh, here we go so this is the image of the dot blot so now let's try to save uh, this image so save as a text file or a text image so I'll save uh, this one uh, in my desktop so after saving it uh, I can open it in Excel and we can observe this one so the image is now converted into an array of values so as you can observe uh, the values are less than 255 so um, it should range from 0 to 255 given that this is a uh, this is an 8-bit image so that's it